Hi right, guys, I decided to finally change the brakes on my Mercedes. And if I don't do it, I'm not gonna do it. So I'm gonna do it. All right, as you can see, there's it all wheel drive. There's an axle. I didn't pay any attention to it the last time I took it off. And these calipers, um, the pads are actually pretty good. Look like quite a quite a bit of meat on the calipers. I mean, on the pads. Oh guys, I didn't know it'd be so damn hard to find a 12 millimeter wrench um, socket, bro. Hey, it wouldn't torque down. Those are a little too damn loose. Let me um. See, can I push the pistons in? Also, I thought this damn thing came with dual pistons. I guess it don't. And I think I might have to change these calipers. If not today, another day. What? They didn't use rock type? The cows will look kind of rusty, don't they? Kind of crusty, ain't they? Yeah, they kind of crusty. I'm gonna see if I push them in and What the hell? Did somebody put, is that grease somebody put in? If it is grease, it didn't help because it's still rusting. And these Mercedes pads, don't know. But then that is crusty. So with that. You think they put grease? Yeah. Yeah, they pro I don't know. They might have did. I don't know. Yeah, they, yeah, that stupid mother father put some grease. Yeah, they put grease down there. Of course, I won't be putting grease back on. Yep, the stupid mother father put grease. Grease here. Quite, quite a bit of it too. Quite a bit of it. They put it there. They probably put it here. Yep, they put it here. You gotta be a super mother father to put grease on your damn calipers. Yeah, I'm um, South Main Auto, whoever, you are a freaking idiot if you put grease on your damn thing. Those are working pretty good, so I'm not going to um, take those out. But I am gonna change the rotors because I think I need rotors. So let me get um, 17, 18. All right, we're gonna try this with a three drive first. We're gonna see how much torque they put on this thing. Put me a little more torque. God dang. Whoa! That was too tight. That was too tight. And I hope I ain't hurt my damn ratchet. Uh, let me get me a pull hound before I damage something. Yep, somebody put some torque on that sucker there. Well, it might be the factory ones. I wonder, did they put Loctite on it too? This um thing might not work. I might. Have, oh, I just remember I have an impact impact um 90 degree ratchet. Yep. Let me get my 90 degree impact ratchet. Damn, I forgot. It's a 3/8 drive. 
the guy like, hey, this thing. All right, it's on two. Damn, it barely wants to turn. That's three. Ooh, that makes a big difference. Yep, the son of a bee put Loctite on it. Stoop, well, stupid, stoop mo, you know what I'm saying. Yep, they put Loctite on it. Yeah, the pads are got meat on them, but they're cheap ass pads. How do I know the cheap ass pads? All the brake dust. See, the son of a bee put grease on here when they should have just bought good pads. Look at all that grease on my hand. That's ridiculous, man. Stupid ass people in this world. Um, brakes come with new hardware kit. But you know me, I don't ever change it. I never change it. I'm just gonna wash this off and reuse it. Some people ask, Black, why don't you? It comes with a hardware kit. Why don't you just change it? Nothing wrong with the factory hardware kit. Didn't need to get rid of this damn grease. Get rid of the grease, the factory is fine. Or whatever this is. The stupid part is this. They put grease, right? You see, the shiny part is where the brake pads sat. So the grease did not help. If anything, the grease, the grease, once the brake dust got in the grease, it kept the damn pad from sliding. But you can't tell folks that. You don't put grease on the hardware kit. Don't ever put grease on your hardware kit. some ignorant ass mechanic put it here thought he was doing something create problems what he doing now don't they look better ignorant ass mechanic Tripping is you guys wants to be like me. I want to do it the right way. Mercedes didn't put grease on here. All right. Now, the new pass can slide on this a lot better than with that damn grease and grind. Cause like I said, yeah, it's grease, but once the brake does get on, it becomes grind. And you see what happened. It turned into muck. All right. Let's take this rotor off. Oh, hell, it's got the damn screws on it. All right, hopefully I can use my damn this is a torque type thing. All right, this is my triple square kit I bought online some time ago. This fit tighter, and I'm hoping it will come off. Oh, it's slipping. 
see, if the person wasn't an idiot, they would have took some of that damn grease they put on the caliper and put it on the back of this damn boat. And it probably wouldn't have seized up. Now I gotta fight to get the damn thing to come loose. The reason I hate going behind a stupid ass mechanic. And if you put grease on a damn um, caliper, you a stupid ass mechanic. Tell y'all something. I am an extremely lazy person, okay? So instead of trying to beat this thing off and drill it, I got me a damn grinder. I'm not going to use the rotor no more. I don't care. And I didn't hurt the hub. But guess what? I got the damn bolt off. So you can't even tell I did anything. I bet you um, that bolt won't be going back on there. I guarantee you that. So you say, well, how you going to hold a rotor? And I figured something out. I can put a lug nut on until I get the caliper on. Oh, and I figured something out. I'll let y'all know. I want to get this screw off, and it is still seized up in there. And before I, I tried a pair of pliers. That didn't work. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to use. Damn, I sat that down on that. Oh, well. I bought these tools some years ago. There's a fourth one somewhere. I cannot find it, but I believe this is the closest one I need, I think. So what they are, they're designed to grip bolts that have been round off. What you do is you find one, this is too big. This is too small and I can't find the other one. I mean, but basically what it does is you want to get one where it fits about right there on the boat. You take a hammer, you knock this onto the boat and you turn it, the boat will come off. Every time I've used one of these, it has worked. One time I had to use some heat, but the majority of the time they have worked. I don't know where the other one is. thing after this I'm gonna put them in a tray so I won't have to look for them again I haven't used them in a while because I don't ring off but oh here they are here you are uh, I know I didn't throw them away I believe that's all of them I think Here they are. I got some longer ones also, but I believe that's all of them. So I think I'm gonna have to use this, this one, I think. All right, well, some people will say black, you should use penetrating oil on this. Let me tell y'all something about penetrating oil. It's not gonna penetrate that. It's not gonna get in there and loosen up the thing. They claim it will, but it's not. That's too tight. So, put this on here. I don't think it's gonna work. Work. Nope, oh, it's slip. <sighs> no, 
don't think I got a small one. Okay. You don't think I got a small one. These are the long ones I was talking about. I damn near about to pee myself. I'm like, what happened to them? I know I bought them, but apparently I put them down here. I didn't see why, because I don't use them that often, except for when I have to go behind some stupid ass um, person. So I guess I'm gonna try some vice grip and maybe that'll work. I don't think I got enough meat. You know, I'm seriously thinking about buying me a damn welder. Because if I had a welder, I could weld a nut on that and get it off. I'm seriously thinking about buying me a damn welder. Let's try a little nap gas first. This don't work. I use my fork. 